Hello everyone, my name is Valerie. Welcome to my new tutorial and today we are going to learn how to create this super cool shiny edge animation that you can apply to your UI panels in your projects. It's super easy to create, we don't need to use any plugins or stroke effects or not even apply the taper property of any layer. So with that said, let's get started. Alright, so first I want to start uh, with explaining you guys how I came up with this idea in the first place. So it all started when I created the thumbnail for my upcoming course in which I teach you guys how to create SAS explainer videos which are in a very high demand right now and it's going to be in even in a more high demand in the future. By the way, if you want to uh, learn from this course, you can join the waitlist. I leave the link in the descriptions for this. And if you join the waitlist right now, it will give you 30% discount off on the course when it's uh, out. Anyway, so I wanted to reach this nice uh, shine at the edge of uh, my UI panel. So I tried a bunch of different effects and uh, you know, tried the tapered thing uh, on the stroke layer and stuff like this, but eventually I uh, found out that to create this very cool, you know, fading out uh, effect on the edge here, I find out that is uh, very easy to create with the very old and the basic effect in After Effects we already know about, which is the light sweep. So by changing a few properties uh, we can get this very cool animation we can of course we, in our tutorial we will animate it and the problem uh, with this technique that uh, we can uh, encounter a few issues during the process and i want to cover these issues during the tutorial so you can uh, fix them when you create uh, this effect so yeah let's get started so first let's create our uh, first composition and uh, to begin let's create a new uh, shape in the scene that is uh, going to be our UI panel. So let's double click on the rectangle tool, let's uh, turn off the stroke and for the color of this shape you need to pick some uh, dark color, let's say like this one. Now let's uh, scale uh, the size of this shape down all right you can do it uh, from here as well okay so let's uh, set it to this one and now let's add a roundness nice roundness to it let's set it to 90 great and now all we need to do to achieve this effect is just uh, search for the sweep CC light sweep applied and now as you can see uh, you probably use this effect to create some sweeps on uh, in the logo animations this is the most common use for it but now I figure it out that we can uh, place it uh, here in the center and let's set the direction to zero let's zoom in so we can see it and as you can see we can use this effect to create uh, the shyness uh, on the edge of this panel and the first thing I found that work very good with this technique is to change the shape to smooth. All right. And now uh, using the width of this uh, effect, we can create this uh, long shiny edge. So let's set it for now, let's say 240. And now we need to get rid of this bright area we can do it by uh, lower the sweep intensity there it is we have only the edge here that looks great the next thing we can do is we can uh, scale up the edge intensity to get some uh, you know brighter edge for this let's set it to I don't know maybe 150 for now and uh, let's try to tweak the thickness and see what we've got uh, I think I think four it look okay and another great thing about this that we can actually change the color of the of our edgy shining here 
so let's set it to some uh, bright orange color or maybe let's set it to bright blue color and of course we can animate this one so let's animate it real quick and then move on to improve the look of this shape so let's start uh, at the beginning of the timeline and let's set the, the direction of it to zero now let's go to let's say a second five all right and make him a rotate one full rotation now let's press n to shorten the workflow area and see how that looks so as you can see that looks very great very good and uh, to improve the look of this we can add a glow effect all right but let's see what would happen if we add this so let's search for glow and add this effect on it so what i didn't like about this uh, effect while applying the glow effect on it is because of the darker color of our shape so we're getting here some um, shadowy look in the scene and i don't like it like in the in the shine edge area it looks great but here it doesn't look great so this is the first issue that uh, we encounter uh, while creating this effect especially if i let's say i want to make it you know too like increase the intensity of the glow and even if i play around with the uh, you know glow uh, threshold and stuff like this no matter what you do we have this one so to get rid of this shadowy look i found a, a very simple solution so what we want to do is we want to uh, duplicate using control or command d our shape here and now for the bottom shape all right we delete all the effects okay we'll delete all the effects so if we turn this on off so our uh, bottom shape will be like the main shape what can call it main shape all right like this and for the second shape we have here we can actually set the light uh, reception to cut out so with that we have just this effect and the glow uh, you know applies only to it because the glow right now don't see the dark color we, ha we had earlier so now if we turn on the main shape we can call it a shine edge so now we have this effect with the glow effect on it without getting the shadowing look and moreover we can uh, duplicate the glow and yeah you know try to play around with it and create a you know a better glow or use a deep glow as many of uh, beginner motion designers use i see a lot of this uh, online so um now let's uh, talk about the second uh, issue we encounter during this process so first it's uh, if i want to move the uh, main shape of course the edge will not uh, go with it for this very easy to, to solve this issue all we need to do is we need to parent the uh, you know edge layer to the main shape and now when we move the main shape the layer will move with it but another issue we have is like let's say we want to change the size of the shape not using the scale because let's say if we want to create this kind of animation we don't want to use a scale for it because it will uh, ruin the roundness and the original shape of our uh, you know shape <laughs> so i'll press command or control z so usually when we're dealing with shape layers we want to uh, scale them and animate the scale of them um, using the size property all right of the rectangle so i'll uncheck the constraint proportions and now when i uh, you know scale it down the all the shape uh, properties like the roundness it's uh, remain uh, very good but the problem is that now our edge not following this uh, change that we are doing so for this all we need to do is open the size of the 
shine edge layer as well and now we need to parent this property from this pick whip to the main shape size property so now if any change that we are doing for the main shape will also be applied to the edges great yeah and with that uh, we basically finished uh, the tutorial so now we can improve the scene and uh, I want to show you another uh, and the last issue we can encounter during this process um, but first let's create a background a, a new solid layer for the background make it black make sure it's a comp size and now let's add uh, some nice gradient effect to the background okay let's make it some uh, dark also dark uh, blue color let's see how that looks let's place it below the design swap the color and maybe let's change it to radial yeah the radial looks great i just take these points here and this one here and i scale up the scatter to get some uh, a bit better gradient all right so this looks very nice but let's see what will happen if we want to add the gradient trap uh, effect on our main shape of course because this is the shape with with the color so let's add it and here also let's uh, create some nice uh, grad radial gradient effect to it as well so let's switch it to radial and let's swap the colors and for the, this color let's pick again let's work with blue colors let's make something like this maybe yeah like this yeah so for now it looking uh, it looks great but look what will happen if we want to uh, move the main shape if we want to move the shape if we move the shape look the gradient it remains in the same position it's not moving with our shape so to fix this we need to apply a very simple expression to the start uh, of uh, the ramp and for the end of the ramp for this uh, hold down the alt or the option on mac keys and click on the start of ramp stopwatch and here you can uh, write down to comp and you can press enter and inside the parentheses we need to write value and then let's click here so now let's select the gradient ramp and move this point to where it was and let's do the same for the end of ramp property so alt and click on the stopwatch and we need to do the same expression here as well and move the point to its position so now if i move the main shape the gradient will follow along and it will be very very cool so yeah with that said we are uh, finished the tutorial as I told you this is a not hard effect to create it's very simple but as you can see it creates a very very cool look to the UI panel and uh, of course you can always go to the light sweep and uh, you know tweak some things around to make it look uh, to fit your design or to fit your what you need you can increase the uh, edge intensity to have some uh, you know shiny more shiny look to the edges in the edges part and you can play around with the thickness yeah, I will leave it in four and of course you can also change the colors uh, to some other color and it will look very very cool yeah so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys uh, and again if you want to join the waitlist of my upcoming course 
I will leave uh, the link in the description below because it will give you, if you join the waitlist, it will give you 30% uh, discount off when the course is uh, out. Thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this tutorial, like the video and I see you in the next one.